It's tea time on the professional golf tour of India with the sixth season of the groundbreaking Indian golfing tour set to commence in the capital city of Bangladesh, Dhaka. The PGTI began its 2012 edition with the American Express Bangladesh Open, which was staged in association with the Bangladesh Golf Federation at the prestigious Kermitala Golf Club. The field at the tournament featured some of the top professionals from India and Bangladesh. The Bangladeshi Challenge was led by 2009 winner Mohammed Zamal Hussain and 2010 champion and four-time winner on the PGTI, Mohammed Siduka Rehman. After 2011, end of the year, it was a good refreshment because there was a long gap for me, so it was uh, really good for me. And um, uh, this is my first event in uh, American Express, uh, so um, I hope I will, I will, I'm looking forward to uh, 2012 and um, hopefully I will do better than last, last year. The lineup of Indian golfers included the likes of 2011 Rolex rankings winner Chirag Kumar, Mukesh Kumar, Garev Kai, and Vikrant Chopra. Last year I started playing uh, well in the second half of the season, so I hope I carry this form. And uh, with a good few uh, big Asian tour events coming up, I hope to do well. Well, it's going to be a tough season for me because I'm going to be playing a lot more on the Asian tour. I'm going to be playing a lot more events where, uh, you know, there are co-sanctioned events and stronger fields. So, um, you know, it's, a, it's going to be a bit of a shift for me. So it's going to be a tough year and I'm looking forward to it. Since the Professional Golf Tour of India came to the fore in 2006, the tour has witnessed a staggering level of growth and proven a much needed platform for budding golfers. The PGTI's success can be gauged through its members who are fast creating ripples on the international stage. Uh, well, it's uh, it's unbelievable, you know, uh, where where the tour was, where it's come to, and where where we see it going. It's uh, you know it's only looking better, and uh, it's it's a great platform to play here and you know compete because the Indian tour, the fields are getting stronger and stronger every year, and uh, even the scores are getting better. So it's a great place to you know actually practice and and get better and improve yourself before you kind of go outside and you know play uh, on the Asian tour, or, you know any other higher tour. In the absence of defending champion Gaganjit Pula, the Indian contingent have their work cut out against a strong Bangladeshi field, with the locals desperate to get the title back on home soil. The host of the opening PGTI event was Kurmitala Golf Club, located in the Dhaka Cantonment area. Established in the mid-50s, the par 72, 6,579-yard course spreads over 125 acres of land. Initially, this golf course was designed by a keen golfer named Penning. Uh, he was a keen golfer, he was an architect, and later on this course was designed by uh, Dr. Shukiti of Thailand. The KGC is widely viewed as one of the most challenging courses in this part of the world, as well as a favourite among many Indian golfers. Actually, I've come here to play the golf course because it's in great shape and uh, not many courses in India are like this. And Bangladesh uh, being a very small part of, uh, you know, in Southeast Asia. So I think they have a fabulous golf course. That's the reason I'm here to play this uh, Bangladesh Open. You have to hit the ball well and after that, you know, around the greens, the greens are very, very tricky. So, you know, to, to shoot a good under par round means you've really played well. And uh, I think the local knowledge on these greens helps a lot because that explains why the local guys always do very well. Picturesque landscapes, dazzling water features and rolling greens make the course as beautiful as it is enjoyable, the perfect mix for any tournament course. Mohamed Zamal Hussain shot a sublime 7 under 65 to take a three shot lead after the second round. Zamal reached the halfway stage with an 8-under total of 136. 
His compatriot and round one leader Siduka Rechaman slipped to joint second following a shaky 73 on the second day. तो थोड़ा गेम थोड़ा डाउन किया बट अभी गेम लग रहा ठीक है लास्ट साल में प्ले इंडियन टूर खेला तो अच्छा खेला सिडोक शेयर्ड सेकंड स्पॉट विद आर मर्टी ऑफ बेंगलोर दिल्लीज विक्रांत चोपरा एंड विजय कुमार ऑफ लखनऊ विद द ट्रियो ऑल ऑन 5 अंडर व्हाइल प्लेयर्स ऑन 9 ओवर और बेटर ऑल मेड द कट द सेकंड डे आल्सो विटनेस्ड अ होल इन वन एट द 177 यार्ड सिक्स as दिल्लीज बानू प्रताप सिंह अचीव द रेयर फीट विद अ 9 आयरन ऑफ द टी Zamal Hussain and R. Murti kept the momentum going as they closed the third round as the joint leaders. The pair both finished on 8-under after Murti carded a 369 and Zamal recorded a level par 72. Uh, I thought I played very good golf today. I was few putt I missed it. Then I thought uh, the, all the putts uh, holding means good. Only three putts I had. That's all I made, three birdies. After that, I made one bogey, hole number 12. After that, I said, play par, 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 par. Then I made 17, 16th hole, I had birdie. And after that, I was enjoying my round. Siddiqur Rahman was hot on the heels of the two joint leaders, just one shot adrift on seven under. Siddiqur, the 2010 Bangladesh Open champion, fired a two under par 70 in a round that included an eagle, four birdies and four bogeys. Vikrant Chopra and Abhijit Singh Chada were tied for fourth, a further shot back. Mikesh Kumar, the six-time Order of Merit winner, over a hundred career wins. This for birdie at the second, in it drops, and he moves to three under. Here's the joint leader and 2009 winner, Zamal Hussain, to surge to nine under. Tricky putts, and that's why you see the fist pump, the perfect start by the popular Bangladeshi local, who moves one shot clear of Murti on nine under. Abhijit now at the second after dropping a shot at the first. So this to move back to six under, in it goes, a textbook birdie. Now a first look at the joint overnight leader, Armurti, who has had three top 10 finishes last season. Doesn't like the look of that though. And that's hooking right. It's avoided the initial sand, but that's going to be an awkward lie. He's in big trouble here. To Vikrant Chopra, who plays his golf at Noida Golf Club at the Fidley third. This is an excellent approach, but he hit his tee shot into the woods. So that was for par. He's going to drop a shot. Armurti at the second needs to sink this bogey to stay in contention. Tremendous composure after a poor approach, yet he still falls to seven under. Chopra now needs to sink this or his victory chances may be over and his nightmare continues at the par five third. A double bogey, that's soul destroying. He falls to four under. Zamal at the third, which of course was just Chopra's undoing. This is a tricky chip. Gets a bit of added momentum from the edge of the green, though, and that's well executed from a very difficult lie. Chopra's eventful round continuing here. This is a uphill 20-footer, right to left. For birdie, and he sunk it. Fighting back Chopra, he moves to five under. Zamal looking to stamp his authority here at the par five third. 
It's a tricky putt from 10 feet downhill, right to left. It comes back a bit, though, and drops in. He's delighted with that. The perfect start for Zamal. He moves to 10 under. Kumar, who bogeyed the second for a birdie at the fourth. Simple, easy for him. And he goes back to five under. Zidakur, the 2010 champion right here in Bangladesh. This is a simple putt. It will move slightly. No problems, though, and the 27-year-old moves to eight under, keeping himself on the leaderboard. Back to 43-year-old Kumar. He's looking for back-to-back -back birdies here at the fifth. And that's pin high. And a tremendous chance of tapping in there for birdie, which would take him to six under. Siddiqui on eight under. Bit of an up and down round though for him. And that's for par and he's missed it. So he'll fall back to seven under. An eventful start for the Bangladeshi. Abhijit now at the fifth, the par four. He's on a bit of a charge, and that five-footer takes him to seven under. That's well executed on a cryptic green. Litten Havildar, another Bangladeshi favourite. He's already birdied the fifth and the seventh. This now for a birdie at the gorgeous eighth uphill. It's going to be pretty fast from right to left. It's going to come back at the last minute. He's judged that perfectly. That's one of the putts of the day so far. And it takes him to six under. Siddiqui on seven under at the par four fifth. Started this event as one of the hot favourites. And shots like that show you why he stands a long putt for birdie. Well, 46-year-old Makesh Kumar is playing like a hungry 21-year-old right now. This is a 12-footer downhill for his fourth straight birdie and sixth of the day. In it drops, never looked in doubt. He's making a charge. He storms to eight under. Well, Siddiqui could do with a run himself on his home course. This to join Mukesh on eight under from 20 feet. And another one drops in. This is quite astonishing. It's birdie fever. The 27-year-old's putter is very much keeping him in the hunt here. To Vikrant Chopra at the eighth. This a pressure putt for par. It's going to come back way more than he expected. It's not going to drop. Didn't read the line. And he'll fall to four under, assuming he taps in this two-footer for bogey. Which, of course, he does, but is his challenge over? Havildar at the turn. This his approach after that mesmerising birdie at the eighth. He's got such a clean swing. Again, pin high. And he'll have a downhill right to left putt for birdie. Well, Murty is in danger of fading away here. He just can't afford a second bogey in a row here. But that's exactly what he's carded. And the man who has only missed six cuts in 38 PGTI events is not a cut above the rest today. He slumps to five under with some sloppy golf. Havaldar who only made two cuts last year. This to go to seven under. And he absolutely loves that, doesn't he? What a round this man is having. He's right in the mix now in outright fourth place. Four shots adrift of the leader, Zamal Hussain, who birdied the seventh hole and is now through eight. He's approaching the back nine, as is Siduka, who's in second place on nine under. He also carded a birdie at the seventh hole, while Kumar is in third, a further stroke shy. Not such good news, though, for R. Murti. He's fading off the pace on five under now through eight.
Sudoka now on 9 under at the par 4 ninth. Not exactly short of hazards, this one. But they don't phase the 27-year-old. Easily avoids the water. He could go to 10 under here. India's Shamim Khan now, a caddy turned pro who was second in the order of merit in 2007 and 8. This is second shot at the par for 11th. That's not bad. He'll have a long putt there for a birdie which would take him to five under. Siduka now can cut Zamal's lead to one here. With an uphill 12 footer for birdie and he does that sublime play at the ninth he moves to 10 under can zamal respond this for par at the ninth to keep the outright lead oh dear it's not quite dropped in goes round the rim and out he misread that slightly and suddenly his lead is gone Abhijit at the par 4 11th. This is for birdie from the edge of the green. I think he's hit that a bit too firmly though. The greens can be pretty quick here. It has indeed rolled past and he will have to tap in for par which will keep him on six under and perhaps out of contention after a promising start. He's faded off the pace. He does tap in for par and stays at six under. The veteran Mukesh now at one of Kermitola Golf Club's signature holes, the 12th, a par three. This can be tricky on a breezy day. There's sand to avoid here and his ball's bounced into the green sign bunker. The 12th may be short, but as you saw there, it's not easy. Well, sand has also been Sudoku's undoing back at the 11th hole. This deceptive six footer, which he holds for par. He went into the bunker though with his approach, not the best hole, but he holds his nerve to keep the lead. Makesh certainly can't afford a bogey here or he will be out of contention. But as I think you'll see him prove here, he's got one of the best short games on tour and he'll come out of that bunker and tap in for a hard earned par. The crowd absolutely loving that. Zamal seems fired up by losing the outright lead at the 12th to regain a one-shot advantage. In it goes with a birdie putt. Fantastic golf when under the cosh. Zamal goes back to 11 under. Mukesh now has to be aggressive because he's running out of holes and the stretch really isn't easy. That's brilliant at the 13th, his second shot, attacking golf, impressive distance control, and that will surely be birdie number seven for Makesh, which takes him to nine under par. Two shots off the pace. It is still Zamal who leads on 11 under, but only now by one from the 2010 winner, Siddika Rechaman, who's on 10 under. And here he is in quite some trouble at the 13th. This is fourth shot, a chip for par. So needs a bit of luck. Good line, but it's going to whistle past the flag. And he'll have a bogey putt coming up very shortly to fall to nine under. His problem was he didn't hit straight off the tee, went into the rough. And as a result, a bogey ensues and Siddika falls to nine under. Havildar is also falling back down the leaderboard. This is a 20-footer, uphill left to right for par. Doesn't quite break. Not a bad effort, but he now falls to six under. Siddika at the 15th. Again in a bit of trouble, just off the green. This chip his third shot and he needs to get some momentum going. How about this though? In off the flag, he chips in for an unexpected birdie, which puts him back within a shot of the lead on 10 under. 
Havildar at the 17th. This is his sixth shot, though. He's got the putter in hand, but he smashed his fifth through the green. That's not bad distance control. He'll leave himself with a six-footer, but it will be for double bogey. Well, just when we thought the gods were smiling on the 2010 champion Siddhartha, his tee shot hits a tree. And now he'll have to roll this one down towards the flag, but he just won't be able to get any backspin on it. It goes past the green and into the bunker, and he'll struggle to make par. Avaldar then for double bogey at the testing 17th from six feet. It's straight, and he sinks it in the middle of the cup but falls to five under. Such a promising start, but he won't be happy with his back nine, and he trudges off on five under. Siddhikur now in the sand, his third shot at the par three, 16th. He'll need to chip in again as he did at the 15th, and you know something, that's not far off. Very unlucky. He's got such a good short game, but luck not quite on his side this time, and he'll tap in and have to make do with bogey. He's such an exciting player to watch and the crowd really appreciating him. Zamal as well at the 16th. Also not short of entertainment today. This is for Birdie to move into a three-shot lead. Downhill and it just doesn't break from left to right as he looks at it. Unlucky. Not a bad effort though and he'll tap in for par to stay on 11 under. In it goes, but he's in a commanding position, isn't he? Makesh at the last. His third shot towards the green, which has a thin stream of water to the left. That won't come into play here, though. Good distance control. Siddiqur for par at the 17th. If he misses this, the title is Zamal's. In it goes, though. Zamal also made par, the par 5, 17th. So it's game on down the last, but the odds are the title is Zamal's. Shamim Khan for birdie at the last from the very edge of the green. Excellent line. How did that not drop in? Very unlucky. He can't quite end on six under, but a five under finish should be good enough for a top five finish. Well, Makesh will certainly finish in the top five, but will that be on eight under? This is for par at the last. That's so disappointing. He just didn't look confident standing over the ball. He'll tap in and Kumar will close on seven under. So to the final pairing and the leader by two, Zamal. He just needs to steer clear of danger here and the Bangladesh Open will be his. A decent tee shot, but an awkward lie here. He doesn't actually like the look of that, but I think it will be safe enough. It's nicely on the green and that should be good enough to secure him victory. Siduka, to stand any chance, would have to chip in here and even that would only be for birdie. He was too over aggressive off the tee, which landed almost by the driving range and he'll chip down towards the flag here now. It hasn't gone in, it's actually an excellent shot, but par could be at best what he has to settle for. So the title is basically this man's Zamal for birdie at the par 4 18th. He's delighted the Bangladeshi crowds. This 40-footer for birdie would get them really up on their feet. It's just fallen short. A wry smile. He knows a tap-in for par will hand him the Bangladesh Open. Siddiqur for par. And what a shame, he's going to finish with birdie. Just pulled it off to the left-hand side. He'll drop to eight under, but that will still be good enough for second place. And so Zamal with a tap-in that even you or me could sink with our eyes shut. Huge smile, hat comes off. And Zamal is the winner of the American Express Bangladesh Open. That's his first ever PGTI victory as a professional. He won the event as an amateur in 2009, and now he's completed a double in 2012.
So Zamal wins on 11 under, taking the Bangladesh Open back on home soil. A final round 69, he was imperious with the putter. It gives him a three-shot victory over Sidurka, who faded towards the end, but carded a 71 for second place with Mikesh Kumar in third on seven under. He shot a 67. Glory got a lot of support. So I was very good. The field was also good. So I didn't see Siddiq. I didn't see anybody. I was playing my games. So it was a Bangladeshi 1-2 at Kermitola Golf Club with talented 2009 winner Zamal Hussain making a perfect start to the 2012 PGTI season.